Hey guys, today we'll be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Spinjitzu Zane set. Set number 70661 and it comes with 109 pieces. So let's go ahead and somehow open up this interestingly shaped package. I think I need scissors for this. Here is the set all built up. First, let's take a look at the minifigure. Here is Zane, and he's a pretty cool minifigure. He has a sword, which is pretty common, and um, the torso printing right there. I really like that with the dragon going across. There's also some really good leg printing right there, and even down to his feet. And he also has some back printing. That's his alternate face. He's smiling. The other one is angry. And also this is a pretty cool mask as well. Before I get on to the other builds, first let's take a look at the actual spinner itself. Uh, it's two pieces, the actual spinner and the base so that it can actually spin. And I really like the detailing on this, the translucent light blue with the white molded in there and you can spin it and yeah and comparing it to the old spinners this is one of the older or one of the first uh, Ninjago spinners it was flat and it spins this is a lot lighter since this has like metal in it or something I'm not sure but you could add things on the bottom and on the top, and this is just um, a little add-on thing. So that was the old spinner, and uh, I think this looks more accurate, but I think this spins longer because of its weight. But yeah, let's get on to the rest of it. Here we have three options, and on the box they label them as defense, attack, and speed. So, uh, let's see if they actually do anything. So let's start with the smallest speed. And the reason why they have a hole there is so that you can stand up the spinner because it can't stand on its own. You can stand up the spinner and you can put Zane in there. There are two studs in there. You can put him in with the sword or without the sword, uh, def depending on what you prefer. I'm going to put him in without the sword, and then we just take these things off of these bars and attach them to the spinner. So let's put them on, and you can also angle them in any way, and then you just spin it. So yeah, it does look a bit Let's try faster. It again. Yeah, I think it's faster. Next up, we have attack. And these ones are kind of cool because they're on two joints. So you can move them move them more. They also have this print on them on the circular tiles right there with Zane's logo and yeah let's see how this works maybe we'll angle it like that maybe I don't know All right yeah it doesn't last long maybe if you spin it from Zane yeah, that looks pretty cool. And finally, we have the defense one, which is probably my favorite out of all of the all of the um, builds or stats. I don't know. Uh, 
these have two clips and they look like icebergs I guess because Zane's ice and I think it fits better than the other two and this one uh, you can close it up so he's like more defended I guess There we go. It's like a snow cone or something. Or we could leave them out like that. That looks cool. For the instructions here, we have Zane at the top because this is Zane's thing. Um, they're pretty simple, but on the back, we have an advertisement for the other Spinjitzu sets that came out, and looks like we have all of the ninja this time. We also get an advertisement for the other big sets, and that's it. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!